Good morning, everybody, and apologies for the slight delay. Presidents, Prime Ministers, Ministers, it is my great pleasure to welcome all of you to the first ever Global Refugee Forum mandated by the General Assembly through the Global Compact on Refugees it affirmed one year ago, almost to the day. Before we proceed, I wish to thank the co-host of this forum, Switzerland, which has helped shape this important event and whose support over the past year has been vital. I warmly welcome Ignazio Cassis, Federal Councillor and Head of the Federal Department of Foreign Affairs. The co-conveners of the forum, Costa Rica, Turkey, Pakistan, Ethiopia and Germany, have all been at the forefront of major refugee crises in recent years and have helped mobilize support for the objectives that underpin the Global Compact on Refugees. It is therefore a great honor indeed to welcome to this forum Mr. Carlos Alvarado Quesada, President of the Republic of Costa Rica, Mr. Imran Khan, Prime Minister of the Islamic Republic of Pakistan, Mr. Demeke Mekonebe Hassan, Deputy Prime Minister of the Federal Democratic Republic of Ethiopia. He'll join us shortly. Mr. Heiko Maas, Federal Minister for Foreign Affairs of the Federal Republic of Germany. And in a few moments, we will also welcome Mr. Recep Tayyip Erdogan, President of the Republic of Turkey. Please join me in welcoming all of them, thanking them from the strong leadership that they have demonstrated. I am proud, particularly proud, to welcome the Secretary General of the United Nations and my predecessor as UN High Commissioner for Refugees, Mr. Antonio Guterres, whose vision and compassion led us from the beginning down this path and inspired us to do more, to not be complacent and to bring others on board with the aim of not only saving, but of improving lives. And we have with us today also the Director General of the United Nations Office in Geneva, Mrs. Tatiana Valovaya, whose staff have worked very hard with ours to make all of this possible, and my colleague Ellen Hansen, who will assist me with the proceedings. After we have heard from our guests here with me on the podium, we will hear from other key stakeholders, including the private sector, who have made important contributions towards the objectives of the Global Compact under a session entitled Broadening the Base. We expect this session to conclude by lunchtime, and after lunch we will start with our plenary debate on burden and responsibility sharing with a panel looking at solutions. The plenary debate proper will start right after the panel and speakers will be given the floor in accordance with the list of speakers kept by UNHCR's secretariat. And later in the afternoon, we'll have another panel on comprehensive responses in action, after which we will resume and conclude for today the speakers list to resume tomorrow. Distinguished uh, delegates, ladies and gentlemen, allow me to recall that the overarching objectives of the Global Refugee Forum are to announce bold and new measures to ease the pressure on host countries, enhance refugee self-reliance, expand access to third country solutions, and support conditions in countries of origin for the return of refugees in safety and dignity. Given the short time frame, 
that we will have to accommodate a long list of important speakers, we would be grateful if um, you could focus your statements to the extent possible on the pledges and contributions that you will be making. And with this in mind, let's get started. First of all, I would like to invite the co-host of the for forum, Federal Councillor Cassis, to launch this morning's opening session. The floor is yours. Grazie, signor Alto Commissario, per... Thank you, High Commissioner for Refugees, Filippo Grandi. General, uh, Mr. Secretary General, Antonio Guterres. Uh, 